Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, some really basic functions on the Animoog synthesizer for iPad. Talk about specifically timbres and the relationship to the XY pad, and also over here, um, path and orbit. So the first thing I want you to notice is that there are eight rows of boxes on this uh, XY pad screen, and they correspond with the eight different timbres on this screen. Timbres are the basic sounds that you can use to combine to make sounds on the Animoog. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna play with them. You get a whole bunch that are included with the basic package. You can also buy extra ones. Um, so we're going to, today we're just going to look on, so use some, some basic ones, like uh, the basic sine wave right here, because the sine wave has a nice smooth sound. That's not a sine wave, that's an effect sound. So I want to change that to the sine wave. So you just, cl you click on the one that you want to change, and then just, just uh, just um, choose from this list or from any of these menus the one you want to put up there. Um, so I want to do square waves for the bottom part because they have a kind of a, an abrasive sound compared to the sine wave. So you can hear the difference. So the top four rows of the screen are going to be sine waves and the bottom four rows are going to be square waves. So then we go back to the XY pad. And if you just press any key, the orbit is going to center around that dot. And you can move the dot around the screen. Uh, but a really cool thing to do is to create your own path. And you do that on the, this path menu here. Uh, where you have sync, the sync button will sync it with this beats per minute if you want to do that. The rate will tell you um, how fast it's going to go through the path. This will tell you in the mode, it'll tell you uh, whether it's going to loop through the path, whether it's going to go back and forth on the path, or whether it's going to just do once. So to create a path, you have to hit the edit button. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a big circle. See, it's set on back and forth, so. Put it on once. Just goes through and stays at the end. I'll go on loop. It loops around. Change the rate. Gives you a different effect. And you'll notice that there's a different one of these orbits for every key that you press. So another thing that you can do is you, you can tailor the orbit um, to suit your needs. Again, the or orbit can sync with the beats per minute. This gives you, I guess, how many times it goes around the orbit or something. It has to do with the speed. But really, what's really important is the X and Y amounts, because this is your Y axis over here and your X axis here. So if you set, you remember that we did the top four were sine waves and the bottom four were square waves. So um, if you set this Y to a very small number, um, and the X amount to a much higher number, you're going to get a very oblong 
shaped um, orbit. And you'll notice at the top it has that mellow sine wave sound and at the bottom it has the more abrasive square wave sound. And um, But if you want to mix it up, you would make your Y axis a much bigger number and the x-axis of a smaller number and you'll get a much more vertical shape. Another thing you can do is you can move this dot and that'll change the shape that you made and it'll move it. This would like be centered much more on the square waves and sound more abrasive. This moves up to the sine area and you get a much more mellow sine wave sound. It's, I mean, the, the possibilities are virtually unlimited with what you can do with this thing. And we're just scratching the surface here. Um, going back to the uh, path, I guess the last thing I want to show you is, you know, when you're done, you can just hit clear and it gives you a clear screen. You can create a new path. Go back to your timbres and change your sounds. Let's try some, um, go to the effects menu or maybe spectral. We'll try some of those things. Put some of these in the center. Um, okay, so that's going to add some variety to the timbres. You can hear the impact that those effects had on it. Set up a path. You can hear as it goes through the center, you can hear those effect sounds. And then when you're done, you can, you can save it. Make sure you don't write over something that's already there. Um, you know, give it a name and save it and use that setting for later. So that's all for today. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.